came this close late in the first half, hitting the bottom of the bar. There's a corner. Shot! They got the equalizer! Justin Groom for the Sets and Hatters! Northop with a gorgeous ball! And the Hatters even it up on the I think we started the game a little bit slow. Um, I don't know if we were saving ourselves for a little bit, but we chatted at halftime about how fit and strong we are, and we're used to these conditions. It's warm for anyone. It is a bit warm today, and and I, I felt that the guys that came off the bench in the first half changed the game for us. So I'd say about 20 minutes, 23 minutes into the into the first half, it changed a little bit, and then in the second half, we just hit the ground running, and we knew we were going to be the aggressors, and it wasn't a matter of like if we were going to score; it was a matter of when. Dugan puts the headers into the lead. The key for us was shutting him down. He's one of the best strikers in, in, in the country, especially in our conference. He's very good. Um, the key was just to know where he was the whole time. Uh, I thought our back, our back line did really well with him. Uh, anytime you can limit a guy like that who's averaging six shots a game to maybe one, that's very good. They just knew where he was. We trained for it leading up to it, so we, we knew we were going to have to deal with a good striker. And hats off to the guys at the back and, and Joe to deal with him. Um, you know, I just try to prepare more physically. Like, I know I'm going to have to put more effort into a tackle than sometimes uh, uh, other other opponents. Um, yeah, because, you know, sometimes you play against tricky opponents. Sometimes you play against tall ones. He was a tall one. So, you know, he was going to go down the line and use pace for his uh, for his ability. So I knew I just had to cut him off or if he was going to cut back, just get the ball there and then Runs with help the, the team move forward. And a cross shot just high. What an attempt. You know, I'm just trying to keep my head in it. I think the team keeps moving forward. Uh, I mean, we can't get too complacent because, you know, FGCU has just an undefeated record just like us. So we're just going to get back at it. Um, yeah, you just, as cliche as it sounds, you have to recover from this game. We have to watch, we haven't really watched them play yet. Um, we just go game to game. Um, so we'll watch them play. We'll recover here, get the guys ready. We'll put a game plan together. We'll train for it. They're a good team. Um, there's a lot of good teams in this conference. And so it, it's nice. You don't have to get up for games because you should already be up because every game's a good game in this conference. So we have to watch them play. We'll see where their threats are, see where we can potentially get at them. But uh, it's what we do for, preparing for this game. We'll watch them, we'll prepare, we'll see if we can get a good game plan together, me and the staff, um, and we'll see if we can't uh, get another win against Florida Gulf Coast.